Hello guys, what's up? It's Lena here with another review for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and we got some fresh stuff on this episode to tell you and let's just say Kirk is acting stupid again. But what's new? So let's get started. Let's start back off from when Jessica and Jocelyn was in the studio and you know just like I'm the real superstar unlike you big girl only place you perform is at your uncle's barbecue as soon as she said her confessions confessional thing and then Justin's like I thought we had I thought we used to kick it and we could kick it and have some lunch and all that and be like friends again then Jocelyn's like we never really hung up we the strip club then Jessica's like no nah, girl well I remember when I was at your mama's house and she kept calling her Chanelica because you know I guess that's, I don't know if that's Jocelyn's real name then Jocelyn's like that's not my name it's not Chanelica but you know that's remember when she got arrested and we all said it was Chanelica Bettencourt yeah, but anyway, Jessica, Jessica kept calling her, and so she's like, that's not my name, she's like, and uh, she thought, I've been to your, mom, pop, my, your mom's house, and Jessica's like, that was one time, we were 17, all we did was hang out at the club, we never hang out, out of that, out, out of that, even together, it's like, together, and then Jessica's like, why are you upset, you minds, and all that, and she started throwing dollars, and she's like, Does Jessica need this, and then she's like, I um, bought you something, I bought you something, and then Jessica's like, okay, whatever, you know, Jessica's blowing up. She's like, not nah, chill and stuff. And then she was like, this is all you can make. And then four years, and she like threw the money back at Jocelyn. And I guess Jocelyn got upset just, I guess, from that one line. And she threw a drink at Jessica. Then Jessica threw her bag. And it was like, oh my God, oh my God. And, you know, she's like, whatever. Jocelyn lost her cool right there. Like, seriously, Jessica, Jessica got got her on that one. So, Je Jocelyn's outfit was cute, though. And Nicole performed in... She said she's gonna try to show off for Rashida and all that. The Rashida was like, I'm gonna act like a VP, not a wife, and all that. So basically, she go to perform and well, she's lip syncing. Erica caught her lips lip syncing. She's like, she ain't singing. And then Rashida was like, well, she got the track playing. She got the track playing, but you hear a little bit. And she's like, she got a little voice, but I don't really know. And then they was like, um, your hot outfit was all lace and stuff. So Erica's like, oh, your outfit. And she's like, yeah, Kirk picked it out for me. And then she was like, uh, uh, that's what I get for messing around with your man and all that. And Rashida caught the little side shots, but, you know, Ashley was still trying to, like, play nice and all that. Didn't actually go and mention that her and Kirk are going to go do some business on another promo tour. And Rashida like, wait, what? And then Rashida give her a tip on when you lip syncing, you put it up to here, put it back up to here and not like here. Then Ashley was, Ashley was like, in her confession, you know, I don't know why it's a problem. Because everybody do a background check. It was like, no, you got to get it, Ashley. So, um, basically, Kirk's gonna do the same thing he just did last over again. I still was like, I gave Diane Penny some money that she needed. And then Steve was still outside on the phone, because on the first ride, he was outside on the phone handling business or whatever. And then, so when they got in the car, she tells Joss, he, she tells Steve what happened in there. Then Steve's like, okay, whatever, yeah, it was foggy that night. But he's like, he got some bigger stuff. Puff, stop paying me, hey, no. Puff, Puff, which is Diddy called him and they want to he want to work with him so he's back as a hit maker then jock was like oh yo bestie because you know, he used to work back in the day in the 90s so then then he got a call that these hedge fund guys want to do a movie called that time of the month and um Joss was like okay that's so cool you know she's not happy she was gonna be a hollywood star and steve's like you know what's supposed to make you a star and all that so she uh, he was like i hope no blood has shed in there but you know it didn't but um when it was fighting so she's like we're gonna be in la they, they, they're gonna go in la to go do a meeting and stuff so she talked to Kirk about the promo tour. She's like, don't do this. Don't make me look like she, I'm stupid and all that. Then he's like, okay, I ain't going to make you stupid. Look stupid. I'm like, really, Kirk? Kirk is doing it all over again. She was at a club, and she had been, she mentioned again how she hadn't gotten nothing to do with Mimi. And then she go and invite Carly and Margo to this open mic night. And then she's like, yeah, Margo's a singer and all. Margo's like a singer songwriter and all that. So that's how she brought her. And then she's like, I'm still doing this trial. She's talking about the trial and all that. Then Margo's like, well, every time I see Mimi, she's like, I'm messing all that. Then Carl's like, Jesus Christ. So Dime go, and she go rap for them open mic night. And it's okay, I guess. I mean, it's not bad. It's like when somebody tried to rap. It's like when somebody that was like, somebody that had another job tried to rap song. And then Margo going to do her song. And it's not bad, I guess. It sounds like one of those songs that, that like one of those like indie songs where it's like, yeah, you know, it get famous like three years after been out or whatever. Yeah, so that's what it sounded like. So I guess she got a hitter in her hands. I don't know. It sounded okay from what I heard. It wasn't that bad. But then Carly going mention that she got a record label and that those could be up to her new artists. And I'm like, 
Everybody was like, Carly, you gotta regulate. Well, when was that? I'm like, Carly just got a hold with yourself that we must not know about them. Mimi go and she meet up with Jessica and Jessica's still talking about that three month thing. And Mimi's like, no, I got stuff lined up for you and all that. So then Jessica told her, uh, asked her about Jocelyn and then jo she told her about the Jocelyn situation. Mimi's like, Mimi's like, I'm not surprised. And then she tell her about Dawn. And Mimi was like, Dawn needs to stop sticking her nose and stuff. And she needs to quit it. And then she said, I got stuff uh, laid out for you, though. And the duck's in a row. Then she, you know, Jess, Jess is like, I don't care about Mimi's personal life. You need this is business. and need to do business. And Jocelyn was to go to the movie. They, to go to sign the deal. And they signed it. You know, Jocelyn's all happy and stuff. And then Stevie was all happy. You know, they all happy. He's an executive producer. She's starring. He's directing. And I don't know if he's going to be in it, too. But it's going to be like a rom-com movie. And now she said they can finally get a pool in their backyard. They got that big old house and they don't have a pool. What the heck? But she does that, they, that house that they built. And she said it's draining money. How, what do they need a new house for? Why do they need a new house? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Don't they got enough rooms with, like, the key? With, like, why do they need a house? Anyway, so um, she's trying to be an adult and all that. So she invited Eric over. Erica's like, you know he probably, he could be cheating on you. I don't want to be putting that in your head and all that. And she was like, but you know how Bambi was texting Scrappy. And then now Scrappy and him, while he was engaged, now Scrappy and Bambi are together. Yeah, what happened to all that Scrappy and Erica storyline? Let's say everybody was asking, what's that storyline? But um, yeah, so that's she was saying. She's trying to put it in her head. So where she was like, I don't want to really think about this. But you know, I might have to think about it. And she's like, well, it's going to be a big D, divorce. And I'm like, yeah divorce divorce him because he's just stupid and running your money up you go she uh she wants to go talk to don and then she was like you know you can't be trying to take her away from me that's mine you ain't nothing but a booking agent because she told jessica that she's a booking agent she's like i didn't know she was a booking agent i thought she was manager so don had been telling her like she's a booking agent so now she's like you're a booking agent you just want to be manager so then uh, don was like how you got a brain the size of a p and you how you trying to manage somebody else this career you can't manage your life I was like ooh shots fired she got me on that whole conversation and then she was going back and forth back and forth she's like I can give her I think she said either three thousand a week or three hundred thousand a week I don't know how much she was she was guaranteeing something I don't know if she can get her so um then she was like Mimi was like I got this you know leave me alone leave us alone I'm like you ain't do nothing you ain't nothing I'm like so then she was like and you need a waist gainer too you know like a waist trainer and stuff and she's like okay boo boo and so, um, she don't think she'd be, Don don't think he's a professional person and she keep mixing her personal life with her other life. So, you know, it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of, I don't know, it, they always say that, but Mimi never brought her personal life in a situation with like, oh, client, uh, with, um, um, what, what, oh, well, except for the Nico fight, but that Nico started that, that wasn't Mimi's fault. They didn't stop blaming Mimi for that fight with Nico and Margo, because that was me, all Nico and Margo, Margo, that wasn't Mimi. But she was like, um, she wanted to believe Kirk won't cheat again, so she went and called the hotel room, with the hotel, and she, hotel room, and she went and asked, she answered the phone, so now she's like, oh, shoot, and this ain't about to happen, so she go and pick up Erica, and then they go to the hotel, and, you know, she got her stomping boots on, and it's about to go down, she banging on that door, and Ashley's like, oh, shoot, and she's like, oh, yeah, and, like, Ashley's laughing, and then she want to cut to Ashley, and it's so crazy stuff on, so this week, they about to get up in there, and, you know, they about to start yelling and stuff, so that's when we go down with Jocelyn, and then, uh, uh, Carly, or, and, oh, Tammy's back, because Kalina, Kalina said something about Deb because Deb thinks she's like, uh, she's getting trash. She thinks Kalina's trash, so I guess maybe Kalina's album isn't good like Tony was telling her. She was trash or something, and then Kalina was like, what was the last time you did something? And then Deb was like, oh no, you ain't gonna come and disrespect me like that. So, and then Kalina and Rasheen in the club, and then Tammy Rivera, I don't know if y'all know, but she, I don't know if she hasn't been on this season. She was on last season with Walker Fuck Flame because, you know, Deb was Walker Fuck Flame's mother, and that's her mother-in-law because they got married. So she coming up and she's like, why are you talking to Deb like that? And she's getting all up in Kalina's face. Kalina's like, you don't, want, you don't want this with me. And Rasheen looked like, what? And I'm like, what? And I'm like, Tammy, what you doing? Why you, why, why, what she going? Is sick, sick you on her or something, Tammy? Did Deb sick you on to Kalina? Am I, am I, am I that's not your bad. Okay. Watch this view, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment to videos. Remember, I'll send it to Hona Scott Young because I could be on the reunion show. I mean, I'm young, a kid, but you know, but you know, I got a lot to say. You know, Kirk, Kirk, I hope she do better. Jesus Christ. But uh, follow me on my social media down below in the description, and I'll see you guys next week to see if. Rashida do better. I don't know. Oh, Rashida. Bye, guys. I want the best for you, Rashida. I really do.